In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen. Amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. gospel passages from uh, John chapter 3. It's continuing the conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus. And uh, here we have this this continued conversation about this same uh, issue or concern, if you will, that uh, Nicodemus brought up with Jesus yesterday about uh, how to be born from above or what does this truly mean. Uh, And so this this being birthed by God or being born from above is what we call baptism. Uh, There's a play here between our physical realities and the spiritual realities. So of course, uh, people are very uh, easy to understand. Usually it's, it's easily understood to see our physical realities, to interact with our physical realities. But this whole understanding of our spiritual realities evades many people. Now those who are baptized, they are able to see the kingdom of God. They're able to see how God works in their lives uh, in the midst of our celebrations, uh, most especially in the midst of difficulties uh, and trials. Uh, So the people who are baptized are supposed to be able to see and understand those things from a different perspective, not a worldly one or an earthly one, but a very spiritual one, uh, a divine way of thinking. And that's always our challenge as as, uh, uh, the children of God is to keep adjusting to how God understands things, how God sees things. Uh, even though we can never approach the infinite, uh, we can, well, we can, we can kind of approach the infinite, but we'll never be able to fully comprehend the infinite God in all of his ways. So, he's, so, then, so the thing about our baptism and our ability to see the kingdom of God and how God works is that this spiritual life can get uh, lost or it can die in us. So once we're baptized, it's good at that time But then uh, we have this life of grace. Once we're baptized, we have this life of grace. We have a different kind of life. We have a Jesus life that lives within us. And so he lives within us from our baptism. And this life that we have, it needs to be fed and nourished. So this life that we've received in baptism, it eats grace. So we need to be able to keep feeding our lives, the spiritual life, with grace. Sacraments, prayer, prayer. Uh, of course, those are those things that are primary. Uh, there's lots of means or avenues of grace, but that's what we have to keep doing is daily prayer, scripture reading, daily scripture reading, so that we're able to truly uh, keep that spiritual life alive in us. And so then uh, this uh, passage also mentions about how, uh, how when Moses raised up the serpent in the desert, uh, this is a reference, of course, when the Son of Man or Jesus Christ is raised up on the cross, then all will know and they'll be able to have life. And so back in the Old Testament, when the people were bitten by seraph serpent, serpents, uh, they were dying and sick. And they, uh, then uh, the, they complained to Moses. So uh, the Moses then with the Lord. And the Lord said to, put, uh, to make a seraph and mount it on poles so that all who look upon it will be saved. 
Uh, and so then that, of course, is a foreshadowing for what we're talking about with Jesus and uh, this conversation with Nicodemus is uh, this understanding of baptism that uh, this birthing by God or this, this, that the whole church, the whole mystical body of Christ, we have to be born from above. We are born from the side of Christ on the cross when he was raised up. And also uh, then we have a nice practical example of, uh, or practical uh, um, thing to do today in our pandemic. We have this practical experience that, that we're having right now with this pandemic of the uh, Wuhan virus. And so then uh, we have to uh, uh, go back to our Lord. We have to look at Jesus on the cross uh, so that we may be saved. It is the Lord who is in charge over all things. And he is the one who in us will be victorious. Uh, but we have to keep looking back at him. Uh, Jesus is the answer, and that crucified Christ still has meaning today. We are people of the resurrection, and so we offer our prayers to our loving Father. We pray for the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish family, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the souls in purgatory, all those who died and all those who will die today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice endures may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory, glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Yeah. 
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia. Quia quem eruis deportare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, Sicutixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis te. Yeah.